Hello you guys, what is up? So for today's video, I have my boyfriend Joel with me. He's gonna be answering questions that girls are too afraid to ask. So what I did is I went on the internet and I literally just searched up questions that girls are afraid to ask guys. There were so many articles on it. I found so many good questions. So he's gonna answer these questions for you guys. He doesn't even know what the questions are, so he's in for a little treat. So I accumulated 17 questions and he's gonna answer them. What if I have any questions for girls? That's for another video. Do girls fart? You've heard me fart before. Tried to erase it from my memory. Do you have any idea what these questions are gonna be? No. Do you know what girls are too afraid to ask guys? Like if you were to guess. Like I don't know, something about liking a boy. Okay, let's just get into it. Question number one. What are big turnoffs for guys? Big turnoffs. Too much makeup is probably number one. Really? What if they have a lot of makeup on, but it's done really nicely? No, so that, that's fine. I don't think a lot of people possess that ability. I would rather just everybody not wear makeup. And I think most guys would too. Like but the number one thing that guys say to me and that we talk about girls is when they're like, oh, she, she wears too much makeup. I feel like the only time that guys would notice and say that a girl's wearing too much makeup is when they just don't know how to do it properly. No, that's what I mean though. Good. I think the problem comes when people are trying to cover up stuff. What do you mean? Like if you're trying to cover up acne, mm -hmm. then that's where the problem is because it's hard to cover up that stuff. I would rather just see see everything. So you don't care if girls have acne or whatever? No, that's... You'd rather them show it than cover it up? Yeah. Some girls just feel more confident putting makeup over their Well, then that's fine if it makes them feel more confident. But, but, but that's the... I'm answering the question. Well. There you go. What's your favorite thing to see girls wear? Casual or fancy? Definitely casual, I would say. What would your ideal outfit be? Like what you wear, the sweatsuit. Like casual? Yeah, like casual, so, a little bit of spice. Oh. <laughs> so would you prefer me wearing comfy clothes every day as opposed to like making a nice outfit with jeans every day? It really depends where you're going. Yeah. I mean, you gotta dress for the occasion. If it's just a regular day at mm -hmm. school, Mm -hmm. Just dress casual. So you like that better. Yeah. And what about like if we were going on a first date and we went to a movie and dinner? Mm -hmm. What would you prefer I wear? Well, like a tracksuit or a You're probably you going to want to wear jeans if we're going out for dinner. All I'm saying is that it's important to dress to the occasion. Yeah. You just dress for wherever you're going. I mean, I, I know a lot of guys but say it, that they prefer girls in like sweatpants. But you can't wear that. sweatpants to the to the ball. <laughs> no, yeah. But if you're just talking casual wear, probably sweatpants is the best for a girl. Don't make a question. What's the first thing that you notice about a girl? Like what's the first thing you notice about me? I don't remember, that's a long time ago. Well, it's four years ago, the first thing I noticed. I mean, you probably noticed the face first. Is there any like feature in specific that you would notice? Some people would be like, oh, eyes. The first thing is just the whole face, I think. Okay, and just like the like, whole face. You just look at the whole face, the eyes, the mouth, the everything. <laughs> okay, the nose, the ears. That's why the makeup is so important. Yeah, so the face. The face, yeah. Okay. Would you care if your girlfriend had a lot of guy friends that she hung out with? Well, if I wasn't allowed to hang out with them, Mm -hmm. Then I'd probably be like, hey, that's a little suspicious. Like a red flag. I don't know. I feel like you should be her guy friend. Yeah. Like yeah. she like she can have other guy friends, that's fine. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, you should be her guy friend. Mm -hmm. If she's hanging out with eight other guys mm -hmm. and you're not invited. Yeah, then that, that's oh. a little weird. So you would let your girlfriend have guy friends, like that's fine. But you just wouldn't want it to be sus. Exactly, yeah. What would be your ideal first date? Well, probably dinner and a movie. It's the classic. You go to dinner first, you get to know them, mm -hmm. you talk to them. So that way you can understand who they are. And then you just chill and watch a movie. Because then you still get to know the person mm -hmm. during the dinner. But you can't do just a movie. No, because that would be a little Because then it's like you don't, there's no talking or anything. Yeah. But then there's other first dates that I can think of that would be more fun. Like what? Skydive. You get to know somebody pretty well. <laughs> the naked skydiving. No, when you go together. What do you mean naked? <laughs> they did that on the patch, just like. <laughs> just what I mean is an exhilarating activity. Yeah. Something really fun. Or like a hike. Mm -hmm. Some, something that you can talk or mm -hmm. but if you don't know mm -hmm. can't go wrong with dinner and a movie yeah what are your thoughts on paying for a date would you want to pay or split it i've always paid for the date like when i'm getting to know somebody just because that's how it is like the mm -hmm. guys like normally expected to not expected by the girl but it's just like a tradition just old just school. because it's it's expected that the guy pays for mm -hmm. the date that's just how it's always been that's just old school. so like i'm not saying every time like i would say we started splitting. like splitting the dates like, six months in or something yeah. like once you get to a point where after like you're, five where dates you're more it's, comfortable it's like you're comfortable with the person it doesn't matter so much anymore yeah. but and it's I, like you, the first yeah. date you're trying to make a good impression and i feel like either 
or can pay on a first date. But I feel like it's good if somebody pays the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Like whoever's taking whoever out pays the whole thing. Yeah. What if the date was just horrible? You didn't like the girl at all? Would you still pay? Yeah, I would still pay. Well, I mean, if they were really rude to me and slapped me. Yeah, well, probably not. Probably not. They'd probably be yeah. on their own there. Yeah. If they were nice to me and we just didn't collect, then I'd still pay the date, I think. Okay. What do you guys talk about at sleepovers? <laughs> You don't want to know. Let's just leave it at that. Like what goes down at a sleepover? Walk in their door, say mm -hmm. hi. Mm -hmm. Normally their mom's cooking up a nice meal for us. <laughs> she wants to impress us. Is that what Jack's mom does? Yeah, normally. <laughs> and she always cooks really good meals for us. Aww. Normally their moms make sure that the cupboards are stocked with chips and <laughs> good food for us to eat. <laughs> then we'll go downstairs, watch some sports, and then we'll just go lay in bed and watch a movie. And cuddle. It's pillow talk. <laughs> Do you guys go? We get scared. What's the girls thinking that guys act gay at sleepovers? Because you guys are kissing and cuddling. <laughs> I think something is only gay if it's gay. And that's the end of the story. There's nothing wrong with being gay. But if you're doing gay things with your friend, you should probably let them know that you're actually doing it because you're gay. So that's the guys do at sleepovers? Well, we don't pretend. Like, it's real. Like, I cuddle Jack at night sometimes. <laughs> We give each other massages when our backs are sore. <laughs> but that's not gay, I'm just doing it because I like a massage. What happens in a guy's locker room? We get changed. <laughs> a lot of the times, we're just getting changed normally. But there's always that one guy who gets full naked <laughs> and runs around, shows everybody his thing. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's always at least one of those guys. <laughs> and what do you guys do? We just talk about girls. <laughs> we just try to push the limit of what's allowed to be talked about. Oh. Sometimes there's fights. Fights? Okay. How long do you need for you to start farting in front of a girl with that? I'm sure a lot of guys can relate on this one. Okay. But when me and Michaela started dating, obviously I had to hold everything in. <laughs> <laughs> When you hold it in all day long, for most days, it's quite painful. It really is. And it takes a toll on the body. But regardless, it takes a while to fart in front of them. But once you let the first one go, at first the girl's like, oh my god, that's cute, or something like that. So then you fart a lot, and you fart every time, because they like it at first. But then when it starts reeking, and, and you get to the point where it's constant. Well, let's just say that Joel told me that when he would leave my house, like when he wouldn't fart in front of me, he would leave my house and once he got in his car, he said he would explode because he had all that gas built up in his stomach. So he was holding them in. So when he get in the car, he would just let them rip. Like it felt like I was bloated so hard and every fart, it would just like shrink a little. That's basically what it felt. And I was bloated, like you could see it. It's just air. Do you hold them? I never had to hold and fart because I don't fart often. I can remember a time I did it by accident. Really? And it was really loud and I thought you heard it, but I don't think you did. No, I never heard one before we did the first one. Because I moved, I think, really hard. So then it like kind of mended with the <laughs> And it didn't reek, so I was lucky. So yeah, if you guys are seeing someone, then just know that they're probably like having stomach pains because they don't want to fart in front of you. I think we should normalize farts 2021. You know what? That could be one of the biggest problems our world faces today. Farting. If you're on a first date and you fart, they're probably not gonna go out with you again. But mm. the thing is that everybody farts, so you should be able to do it on any date. And some people have a medical condition where they can't stop farting. And normalize farts 2021. Yeah. Seriously. Why can I burp in front of everyone, but not fart? Like Maybe what? that should be your merch. Normalize farts. Normalize, fart. okay, let me know you guys in the comments if you want merch. That says, normalize farting 2021. We'll make it if you want it. So if you guys actually want this, like I'll print three hoodies that say, normalize farting 2021, and then I'll pick three lucky winners in the comments so let me know if you want that honestly if he like farted and we, when we were out eating dinner and it was really loud it would make me second guess something you know what i mean i would just be like why would he do that and if uh, if me you fart i honestly don't know because it's actually rare to hear a girl fart in general <laughs> okay next question how can we tell when a guy is simply uninterested. This is an easy one. This is a problem that happens with most of my guy friends is that a girl's texting them and they don't like them. But the guy makes it very obvious. He'll know this because he won't answer your text right away. That doesn't always mean it though because sometimes they're just trying to play hard to get. But if this goes on for like a while where they're taking for like not just waiting five minutes after you text, but waiting like five hours after you text and then they're replying with like one word answers like if the ratios of paragraphs in text don't mm -hmm. look about equal there's probably something off the guys can make up excuses like oh i was just busy oh i'm really busy sorry but then that that's just all excuses right mm -hmm. that's like if, if they're doing this consistently for like a long time then that's definitely yeah like if a guy's busy he might be actually busy but if like he's busy every time you want to hang out or tries to like make up an excuse every time then he probably doesn't like you the three signs are as long response time unequal paragraph ratio like they're responding with one word answers yeah 
and then always saying that they're busy or making an excuse yeah because if a guy really likes you he's gonna find any spare second to hang out with you and here's a pro tip if you like a guy honestly and you think he likes you back just tell him guys like it when girls make the first move trust me it's been talked about a lot all right there you go ladies what's your idea of a successful first date there's got to be a lot of laughs. You got to be having fun. Probably going to end in a kiss. <laughs> Just a little pet. What are signs that you're into someone? They'll probably tease you a lot. They'll like make fun of you. Oh, that's a great Especially sign. if you're in high school, they'll definitely make fun of you. If you're in high school, they'll probably say hi to you in the hallway. They'll probably text you. I mean, I feel like when a guy likes you, he'll be like always texting you, like answering fast, right? Yeah, they're going to respond to you quick. Put a lot of effort into their text, maybe. Yeah. It'll be obvious when a guy likes you. Why don't guys pay attention to details? Because we don't really care. We don't stress the detail. I got my hair dyed and you didn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's like when I saw your hair, mm -hmm. it's not that I didn't notice, it's that my, my heart doesn't care about your outer looks. It only cares about your inner beauty. So, <laughs> so that's why I didn't notice your hair because when I look at you, I don't even look at your physical features. Oh, I actually only okay. look into your heart. It's actually quite beautiful. It actually kind of makes me sad that girls do look at the outside appearance and notice those things. Oh, okay. Because guys yeah. are just evolved in that uh, way. They don't have to try to come at me. I'll come right back. <laughs> <laughs> So that was the end of today's video. Thank you, Joel, for answering the questions. You're welcome. How did it feel? Good? It feels good to get those off my chest. <laughs> I learned a lot about girls, especially that they only care about our physical appearance. Oh, shit. Makes me sad for our world, but legalized farts 2021. Yes, legalized farts 2021. <laughs> oh, not legalized. <laughs> what is it? Normalized. Imagine if farts were illegal in public. They kind of are because no one does it. Yeah, honestly, honestly farts it's kind are of illegal. illegal. It's like a black market. Oh my god. It's hurting guys all around the the world three lucky winners three could, lucky could winners. be wearing that hoodie yeah. and repping our brand i think this is actually one of the best things you ever come up with i think it just makes the most sense out of anything in this video it's, it's probably bad for you keeping all of that gas oh in. it's not good and why is it so embarrassing to fart because it stinks <laughs> we should just legalize all smells legalize <laughs> normalize if somebody's in the washroom and they make it smell bad they shouldn't be embarrassed no because they should it's... be proud that they're <laughs> They've been eating good and have proper bowel movements. You should leave it in there and show people what you've produced. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys so much. Thank you, Joel, for answering the questions. And yeah, let's legalize farts 2020. Normalize. Nor See you in my next video.